from Extension Works and uh, today I thought we'd get together and we'd talk about WP e-commerce and FedEx and I thought we'll run through the configuration needed to set up the shipping extension and we'll go from there. So you'll need to come across to extensionworks.com and purchase a WPEC FedEx and once you purchase it and install it you'll be prompted to install the uh, extension work shipper which you can see here and I've already activated it it'll look like this it'll be a banner up the top here and it'll say install the extension work shipper and of course you can see I've got FedEx shipping sitting here and I've acti activated that already okay so We'll go across and have a look at the products. Um, I've set up a few products just to show you. Now, using FedEx, you need to enter weight and dimensions into all of your products for this to function. So uh, as you can see, this is a variable product. So we'll go into the variations. We've got black here. And you can see I've got uh, weight, which is four pounds, and the height is four, four by two by four. And same for the blue and same for the pink. So, yeah, you just have to make sure that you've got um, weight and dimensions set up in here and you'll be good to go. OK, so that's all set up. So we need to come across to settings and go down to store and you need to set up your base country region which I've gone ahead and done and already so it's United States and I've got New Jersey here as well and I've got your currency is also um, US dollars as well. So those are the things that um, you'll need to remember to set up at the, in the very beginning. And then you come across to shipping and general settings is you shipping. Yes. And obviously most people are going to know this, your base country, the origin postcode, which is 08360 for New Jersey. Do I want to use uh, shipwire settings? No. Enable free shipping discount? No. Okay, so as you can see, you've got here, uh, this one's already there, so it's already available here. So as you can see here, we've got FedEx, uh, we've got the method title, so um, you can obviously uh, call this whatever you want. Um, I might just remove by extension works, we'll just say FedEx. And the next option is select shipping rates to display. We've got all cheapest rate or highest rate. I think we'll display all. You can add a handling fee if you like. So I've got here $10. That's quite an expensive handling fee. So we might just change that to, let's say $4. And it can be a percentage as well. So you can enter in 3%, 5%. And you can also apply the handling fee to the value of the cart. Your products will be shipped together or separately. We'll ship them together. And next option is boxes for parcel mail, as you can see here. So I've already got a few boxes in here already. So the next thing, if you don't have any boxes set up, you probably need to come down to what, what we call our container settings. And you'll need to start creating some boxes. And you need to remember that your custom boxes um, will need to be big enough for your to fit in your largest product. So we'll just call this box three. And I think I've got, and we'll just make it 15 by 15 by 15. And then you go and enter your width, length, and height and then I might put in a maximum weight of 150 pounds because that's the maximum weight for 
FedEx and we'll save that box. So we should have a box three, 15 by 15, which is right here. And we'll select that box to ship. So as you can see, that was quite easy. You just create your label. You don't have to put in the dimensions as I put in the dimensions 15 by 15 by 15. You can just put in a label, t-shirt box, tea box, whatever you want to add in there. And we'll go back up to, so we've selected the, the box. Then we need to select, um, these are your shipping methods for your packages. And I've just selected all of them. But you don't have to select all of them. It's con completely entirely up to you what you want to um, offer to your customers. Debug mode is for um, if you're not getting a rate uh, return from the API, then you can enable debug mode. And on the checkout page, there's a little bit of script or code that will um, it'll explain what's going on on your checkout or if something's not being verified, if something's incorrect. So it's quite handy to um, even if you need to have a look yourself. Quick quote, which is what we'll be using today. Uh, it's basically just for testing purposes. You can use it for um, production or in a live environment. It's um, it's quite safe to use. The only thing I would um, yeah, no, it's up to you. I mean, you can use it, but um, it's entirely up to you. And now if you want to use, you can actually add here, it's add here, sorry, production mode, enable production mode. So that's where you need to add in all your credentials for your FedEx. So your FedEx account number, your FedEx meter number, your FedEx web services key, your FedEx web services password and request wired smart post hub ID and you can tick this here for insurance rates include insurance and now we can go down and just we'll just so here we can rename our shipping methods so what you need says pick a method to rename so let's just choose FedEx ground test so we just renamed we should be able to see FedEx ground test here yes okay so that's basically it for your configuration so the the probably the longest and the most time-consuming thing is probably setting up your your parcels or your box your custom boxes but I mean, once you do one, it's quite easy. You just go through and set set up. You don't have to have that many boxes. Wouldn't recommend having too many. We'll just save those changes. Okay, so now we can go across to our products and we can purchase, let's purchase a pink cap. Add to cart. And we'll go to checkout. Okay, USA, Pennsylvania, you can see 19019. We've got some options here already. So FedEx ground, let's just do, we might just do, refresh this because I think it's cached from my other part of testing. Yes, it was. 8360, calculate. Okay, okay, so that that's better because I knew I changed the method title to FedEx ground test, so I was wondering why I couldn't see it, but it hadn't refreshed fully, so that's fine. So yeah, so then you can basically, the customer will come in and choose whatever option they want to ship with, and it's updated there. So yeah, that's so that's basically it. Um, uh, so yeah, all the... Shipping is, we'll just update it to two. There we go, it's updated.
Great. Well, thanks for listening to my screencast today and remember to come over to extensionworks.com and purchase the WP e-commerce uh, FedEx shipping extension. Great. Thanks for listening. Bye.